uh, questions for Mr. Kambinato. Uh, thanks to your presentation. And I have a short question about your uh, water label monitoring system. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you, you, from your presentation, you said that you have already uh, built some, uh, yeah, some, some monitoring system around your Philippines. Uh, I want to know that, uh, how many uh, water label monitoring system you, buoyed, uh, you destroyed in your Philippines from your asking organizations? We destroyed. Uh, no, not destroyed. Deployed. 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 Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, yeah, you, you, you have to destroy numbers this way. <laughs> yeah, I, have, I don't know the exact number, but uh, <laughs> but a friend here, I think, knows. I think it would be the bigger figures to make us like it's actually for the total number of the water level. Yeah. I, I, I have a big idea. So I think it's around uh, 1,000 of them. I think so. I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe. Actually, <laughs> The problem is we have a station called Tandem Station. We basically have both the water level in a range station at the one. So we also have for the water level. I can give you that. Thanks. I have a question, uh, a very general question. Um, because somebody said the best quality control is uh, that you install another two same or different instrument mm -hmm. to collect data. So for the same same location, you just put more than one. Yeah, uh, yeah actually, you can double check. They actually, they're already deployed. Uh, there are Pragasa uh, synoptic stations. You just Deployed in AWS and automated various stations near it. All right, yeah, all right. Yeah. Then, then, because uh, other than that, uh, there are all theories saying uh, the, the correlation, something, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, just uh, asking more money and uh, solve the problem. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. Uh, any question? Well, thanks, uh, Mr. Campanito, again. Uh, not my presentation, but it's okay. It's okay. I'm helping. <coughs> Your slides is already here. Oh, the slide and is already there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. And uh, everything you say will be uh, broadcasting in, on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So be careful. Oh, okay. I'm serious. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. All right. So our next speaker is uh, Dr. Suhami, Suhami uh, Nafis. Uh, okay. He's going to give us a talk related to uh, numerical simulation um, okay. uh, by using Wolf model. Right. Yeah, okay. So I can just use uh, the numerical simulation uh, using Wolf model. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Uh, yes, thank you very much, the Chairman, Dr. Prof. Uh, my name is Suhaimi. The presentation is being made by Dr. Juneng's student. So Dr. Juneng can't make it today. It is a public holiday. It's a national day. It's a national day in Malaysia. So I'm the one who is crazy enough to spend my time here. Uh, so this is his presentation or rather her presentation on behalf of Dr. Juning. Dr. Juning is the one that is uh, involved uh, in this, and this is part of their, their work, and it's one of those uh, work that uh, is about to be published. So uh, I will try to do justice to read up uh, so that you can better understand, and then maybe whatever the question, uh, you will have to uh, post it back to Dr. Juning. Okay? Right, uh, it is about the numerical simulation of the uh, rainfall event that has devastated the the part of the, how do you do it, put it down? Yes, the flooding, uh, one of the worst flooding in Malaysia in the year 2011. And until today, 
uh, some of the people who were displaced are still uh, not having their house being rebuilt. So it is uh, quite a sad situation. So uh, nonetheless, uh, in that event, uh, there were several studies being carried out for the disaster, the flood disaster, and one of them is this one. And the objective of uh, this presentation or this part of the work is to is simulate the extreme rainfall during the that event using WRF and to look at or to examine the sensitivity of that simulation to deep convective parameterization. This is not good for me. I do not know. <laughs> OK, anyway, uh, oh, sorry, not 2011, it's 2014. And uh, there is a Malaysian uh, being hit by the worst in decades of flooding. Uh, it lasted lasted for quite some time. And the uh, state, northern east state of Kelantan was the worst affected. And evacuees is 140,000. This, this is, is almost a like, natural disaster of the worst of its kind. We never have such uh challenges uh in in malaysia which is relatively no uh, earthquake no typhoon uh no uh what do you call that <laughs> volcanoes so we are sitting but still we sorry <laughs> you are smoke from the neighboring countries <laughs> uh, uh, that's a sensitive issue <laughs> okay and um, there were 14 deaths and there were four missing persons Okay, it, uh, the synop synoptic condition is actually there's a strong cold surge, wind from 15 to 25, uh, the 25th of December, uh, with uh, northeasterly persistent deep penetration uh, of the Pacific, Pacific over Peninsula Malaysia. Uh, I think uh, I think many simulations have been made along that line, and of course the numerical simulation to was conducted to improve the understanding of the predictability of this event. Uh, the Malaysian government is taking it seriously uh, uh, for this so that we can better prepare in the future. So these are the case description. Uh, the rainfall, if you notice there, hitting the northeast part, especially this, this uh, part here on the bottom left, is really, really devastating from the north east side so it's really terrible and the rainfall uh, rate and so on uh, is actually worse at the 17th of december uh, 2014 and then uh, the data and methods uh, he was using uh, wrf version 3.7.1 uh, with the uh, what you call all the parameters uh, initial boundary data having three nested domains. Uh, first, wide uh, as wide as 36 kilometers, followed by 12 kilometers, and then finally the four kilometers. So these are the things that the, they did into that region, and especially the red region uh, within the square and the square of the white uh, square. Right. Um, these are the data and method uh, WRF single moment three class scheme for microphysics, RRTM scheme, and DUDIA scheme for atmospheric radiation, uh, five layer thermal diffusion for land surface, and Yonsei University scheme for planetary boundary layer. Uh, different combination of uh, the cloud cumulus parameterization were used at different domain and the simulation result were examined. So the experiment with different initialization process uh, and lateral boundary were also carried out. So these are the thing um, I'm sure you know better than me in terms of uh, what this all means. Uh, and I just want to glance through uh, and maybe uh, looking at the experiment on the practical predictability. Uh, and these are the experiment and the result uh, stated that, or rather revealed that the combination without cumulus scheme to the innermost domain give better forecast. The WRF model was able to resolve explicitly, explicitly uh, rainfall, and the base rainfall was produced by the combination of multi-scale KF, multi-scale KF, KF none. 
So in terms of the intensity and the localization of the cl cluster, uh, this combination of, uh, as being said, give the closest match to the T TRMM satellite observation uh, as shown uh, in figure 8 point, figure 8A. So although the location of the most intense rainfall was slightly to the southwest, the model was able to capture the intensity and spread of the convective cloud cluster. So again, uh, underlying the fact that WRF model is able to simulate the heavy rainfall event. So these are the result figure uh, seven. So if you notice there, so I, I could I could only make out this big plot there, and I would assume that these are the heaviest one. So Kelantan is actually oops, sorry, Kelantan is actually just there exactly. You know this is oops, this is uh, Thailand is that there's a border of Thailand, and Kelantan is just there. So this is the worst hit. And okay, looking at it more closer, uh, if you notice that is Kelantan. I think this is Terengganu and this is Kelantan. So this region here is really the most hard hit. Right, and then this is another way or 24 hour accumulated rainfall in millimeters. Uh, and then as a conclusion, the high resolution WRF model used in uh, his study uh, captures considerably, considerably well some of the features of the heavy rainfall event on the 17th of December in 2014. Uh, it is also found that cumulus schemes give huge difference to the intensity and location of the predicted rainfall and the combination of the multi-scale cane fridge for the outer domain uh, and no cumulus scheme at the innermost domain give the best arrangement, uh, the best agreement to the observation. So uh, the, the last statement that the WRF model was able to predict the event uh, well, both qualitatively as well as quantitatively with the right combination of cumulus parameterization. Thank you.